It's warmed up to a balmy 24 degrees here in Metro Detroit, which means it's that time of year for the Ward's 10 Best Interiors competition. This year, we're gonna have nearly 60 all new vehicles or redesigned interiors in the competition. And we're gonna start it off right now with a look at the new compact pickup trucks from uh, General Motors. We've got the Chevrolet Silverado here to my right and also the GMC Canyon to the left. Let's take a closer look. So here we are inside the uh, Chevrolet Colorado. This is the four-wheel drive Z71 trim crew short box. So you'll see the nice uh, HMI there, the display screen that you can navigate through. Uh, you'll see that on a lot of the General Motors vehicles, be it Cadillac or Buick or uh, GMC uh, or Chevrolet. You'll notice a lot of uh, similarities to the uh, Chevrolet Silverado. Uh, and of course here when you look at the, uh, at the display screen, you'll see a lot of similarities to the rest of the uh, GM product portfolio. This is one of the better equipped compact uh, pickup trucks that we've seen in a long time. Um, a lot of nice features on it as you look here down at uh, some of the instrumentation. You see the heated seats, you see the cooled seats. Um, you know, there's a, there's a bed light that you can turn on and off here. Of course, climate control, uh, you know, is automatic. Uh, a lot of functions here that you would not have seen in a in a uh, you know in a compact pickup truck years ago. So everything that we said about the Colorado is also true of the Canyon. Both very functional pickup trucks, and I'm showing you here down the back seat of the Canyon. Of course, GMC is the uh, premium truck brand for General Motors. Here in the back seat, I want to show you a nice uh, bit of storage functionality. This is the back seat. There's a lever right here. Raise it. This is a two-handed operation, unfortunately. Raise the lever, seat goes up and it locks in place. And then down below, you have storage in here. Very nice. You can fit a fair amount of tools or other things down there. Here in the front seat, very nicely appointed. Leather stitching on the steering wheel. Again, very similar HMI. One complaint that we have though is the map pockets here in the door. They're very shallow. So I don't know if you can see very well here, but not very deep. Here this water bottle bin is very shallow. Here in this upper bin, you could fit a couple sets of keys maybe, maybe a cell phone. It's just kind of odd that the doors are large, but the map pockets are small. So in addition to the standard door seal right here, that you'll see that circles the entire opening, it's also this secondary seal right here. You'll see it, you can feel it, kind of rubbery. Of course, the seal's on the inside of the vehicle as well. So these made up when the door closes and you get a really nice, clean fit, which makes it extremely quiet. Here in the back seat, you see there's a couple of USB ports, a charging port there. So as we evaluate all the vehicles for the Ward's 10 Best Interiors competition, there's a number of judging criteria that we have. Um, comfort and touch points, um, ergonomics. How easy is it to get in and out? and how easy is it to move the seats. And also, uh, the driver information is a, is a fairly important aspect of our evaluations uh, in terms of the HMI and how information is, is communicated to the driver. Uh, use of color is also important. And the design aesthetic is also very important. It's, uh, it's actually the, the most points in terms of our evaluations. Does the interior match with the exterior flavor of the of the vehicle. Uh, and then of course value, even though we don't have a price cap for this competition, we do look at value.